What's up, YouTube? Bay Area Baller 18 back again. Today's video, we're looking at Emmanuel Mosley. The 49ers just re-signed him. Two years, 10 mil. I like that deal. And in this video, we're going to look at Emmanuel Mosley versus DK Metcalf head-to-head -head battles. Mosley won some of these reps. DK won some of these reps. But we're going to dive into how it went down. Roll the tape. All right, this first matchup is going to be Week 10, 2019. Emmanuel Mosley is going to be matched up on DK Metcalf, bottom of the screen. Niners are in a cover three. And Russell tries to throw the back shoulder fade. Great play by Mosley. He read the catch point, saw where Metcalf's hands were going, and he separated the ball. Great play by Mosley. All right, this is third and three. Emmanuel Mosley's at the top of the screen on DK Metcalf. This play, DK's going to run a slant, and you're going to see Lockett try to rub Mosley. And it's going to create just a tiny bit of separation, enough for DK to catch the ball, but that's good coverage. DK's tough. He gets five yards after the catch right there. All right, this play, Mosley isn't the guy covering the player receiving the ball, but it just shows his toughness. Look how he comes down and he pops this tight end. He's a willing tackler, and I like to see that. While corners don't get paid to tackle, when you've got one that's willing to tackle, that's a plus. First and 10, Mosley's at the top of the screen on DK Metcalf. And he, he makes this reception too easy on DK. You want to make it tough on him. See, so he's backing up. You can see how much space he's giving him, and it's a little too easy on first down. Second and three, it's a tie ball game. Mosley's at the bottom of the screen on DK Metcalf. Seahawks try to go back shoulder fade, and Mosley's right there. This is great coverage. He doesn't locate the ball in the air, but he plays the catch point so well. He finds where DK's hands are going, and he separates hands and ball. This is third and two in overtime. This is a big down. And bottom of the screen, we got Mosley on DK, and that's where Russell's going with the ball. Mosley gives him no space. That's a PBU, pass breakup. Nice play, Mosley. All right, we're still in overtime, 24-24. Mosley's at the bottom of the screen on DK, and right away you can see he's giving him too much cushion. I hate giving receivers free receptions and free yards after the catch. Get up on him a little bit. You don't got to get all up in his face, but you can't be 10 yards off and just give the man a free eight-yard gain. In that Week 10 2019 matchup, it sure looks like Mosley got the better half of DK in that game. Now let's look at Week 8 2020 and see how the matchup went. First and 10, 7-6 ball game, second quarter. Right here, the Niners are going to be in a cover three. We're looking at the bottom of the screen, Mosley on DK. DK is going to outside release, and he he's so fast, but that is just a perfect throw by Russell. I mean, Mosley's cover, coverage was really not that bad, but DK got a half a step on him, and Russell just put it in the bucket. Solid coverage, great throw. That's the thing when you're a corner. You're not going to win every rep. Third and four, scores 13-7 Seahawks. And we're looking at the top of the screen, Mosley on DK. And DK is going to win this rep. Fakes the outside release and just gets the inside position on Mosley. Not terrible coverage, but... 
DK wins this rep. Third and five, 27 7 Seahawks. This game's starting to get out of the hand, but we got another DK E Man matchup, top of the screen. And Russell's taking a shot. Mosley's running stride for stride, locates the ball, and it's a beautiful PBU. Really nice coverage right there by Mosley. That's the thing about Mosley. He doesn't get burnt. I mean, if you beat him, it's because you made a hell of a throw. Second and four, this is going to be the last play between the battle of DK and E-Man. And it's man coverage, and DK just gets separation on the curl. Not terrible coverage, but he gives up the first down. DK won this rep. I think overall you got to be impressed with the way Emmanuel Mosley plays DK Metcalf. What I like about Mosley is he's usually in the right spot, and he doesn't get burnt. He's right there. Sure, if you make a great throw, you can beat him, but that goes for any DB, with the exception being that third and 15 in the Super Bowl. It hurts, but let's take a look at it one more time. It's 20 to 10, 6 minutes, 57 seconds left in the Super Bowl. All right, let's go slow-mo for this one. All right, top of the screen, we have Emmanuel Mosley. 49ers are going to be in a cover three. That means Mosley has the deep third portion of the field, the deep right part of the field, if, you're, if you were looking at the offense. Now, he's not going to have anyone directly challenging his deep third, so he's, he's going to bite and stick with Sammy Watkins running his dig route, and it's the wrong move. That's going to leave Tyreek Hill isolated on Jimmy Ward. And Tyreek's going to run this post corner, and he's just so fast. It's so deadly. So here's Tyreek just running right at Jimmy. And you'll see Mosley say, okay, no one's threatening me. Let me run with Watkins. And then Tyreek. Runs to the corner where Mosley should be, and he's just wide open. Oh, man, that hurts. And when you look at the second view, when we're looking at the O-line, D-line matchup, look at Bosa just get held. I mean, Fisher's going to be grabbing all up under Bosa's neck. He's, I mean, that's a hold. No call. Refs didn't call any holding penalties in that game. And that hurt big time. Mosley didn't play that third and 15 the best in the Super Bowl, but having an undrafted rookie in that situation, I, I mean, that's not even really on him. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you next time.